Lost track of the forest through the trees, forgot what I was chasing. Spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone vacant. I don't want to change my mind. Oh, I want to stay right here, right here. Chilling with my friends for another year. Hi everyone, welcome to uh, Divine Timing. You guys are spoiled. I just did this last night. But last night, I look like horrific. Today, I look like magnific. Thank you. <laughs> Serving today, realness. How are you? Welcome to my channel. This is your Divine Timing. Divine Timing is, let me, say, uh, let me explain how it works. There is no zodiac. Um, we're just basically um, dealing with a situation and you stumbled upon me on YouTube accidentally and you were like, oh my God, who is this hot person? I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's begin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's begin here. All righty. How is everybody? Divine Timing. Let's see the message for you. Yesterday was very magical. It was it was connected to the divine feminine. That's, that's how I saw it. Uh -huh. And let's see here. What's going on? I'm also using my crystal to see. Okay. To see further down the road. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Okay. Ooh, King of Swords. Okay. Upset and mad is the King of Swords. Um, it is a card of I don't want to. It's like stoic in, um, but stoic is different. Okay, that's like Plato stuff. You know, this is more of uh, nonchalant. You're more like ah, uh, you're more like I just uh, I just want to keep myself silent right now. So this is your situation. You refuse to talk to this person. Okay, because the arms are clenched, which means like there's a level of tightness. There's a part of you that's saying that it's like, eh, I don't want to deal. Yeah, okay, I don't want to deal. That's the King of Swords. Mm -hmm. Aquarian energy, right? Um, but you will find it like you didn't want to deal with it, and then finally you're just gonna text. You're gonna send a message. So you texted someone. You called someone. You pop into their feed. You you show them some interest in communication, but not really like, hey, I want to talk to you. I like you. It's more of um, Prince of Swords. Hey, um, how to say this? Uh, they want to address something. That's a Prince of Swords. You want to address something. The truth. You're going for the gut. You probably conf uh, what confronted someone. You texted them, say, like, hey, how come you're ignoring me? Normally, that's a Prince of Swords. It, it addresses a situation, but you refuse it before. Hey, why you're ignoring me? Or hey, um, is there anything wrong? But it's really like, you know, it's just early morning, and that's how direct the message is. It can be late night, middle of the night when you send this message. Okay. So we go to the particulars here. Ten of Swords. Okay. That's a little bit challenging with the Ten of Swords. Hmm. Um, because you feel like they're, um, what do you call it? It's a, it's a lie. You know, you feel betrayed by them. Why are you not responding? Why are you not texting me? Why are you not calling me? It's a lot of why. Why are you keeping secrets from me? Or if you found out that they were out and about, and then, you, you know, like they told you that they were just at home. So Ten of Swords again, betrayal. Um, they told you that they cannot go with you, but then all of a sudden they're in some mini vacation. It's like, oh, it was just a road trip. I was just, you know, they just went, I, I was just with my friends and they called me. And then the whole time they say, like, they don't got time for you. Ten of swords. So you feel so betrayed. These are th uh, swords, so it's very airy. It's all in the head right now. Um, uh, it feels like this is going to come to you as a shock. Okay. You will not see it coming. Of course, ten of swords is a backstabbing energy. So they, they basically push like you like that. Okay, I got Ten of Swords. Hermit and the Justice card. You felt like, okay, you know what? I will never deal with you. Okay, Hermit is like, I just, uh, I'm going to keep myself silent. I'm going to 
keep myself quiet and you will never, never see me again because this is what you feel. B by you taking the justice back, um, uh, it feels like, uh, how to say this? The hermit and the justice card is like, you You take it back. Um, how does it? Because you take it back and you think like you're going to gain power by this. This is what your wisdom is teaching you. This is your own wisdom. Basically, you're just doing your free will here with the hermit and the justice card. You felt like it was, you know, this can be divorce and separation with the justice. You didn't see it coming also. Like someone just sent you as a, as a, as a, as a you know, they served you. And then, you know, it's like, what? So I never expected this. So it's actually not you who divorced them. They divorce you or it's them who break up with you and you didn't see it coming. Again, something that you were trying to to go in particular, very facts, very um, airy. And then instead of you really putting the end to it, they ended it. Uh -huh. So you were just actually trying to get to the bottom of the truth, bottom of the situation, the truth. And then they shanked you with the Ten of Swords. And they didn't even give you explanation. They didn't give you explanation. And that's just why you're doing the hermit. You're going to shut down and you will feel like, um, why? You know, because you, you, now you're going to go within and you're going to start wondering and questioning what has happened. Mm -hmm. Why it didn't work out? Okay. The hermit here, okay. I mean, that's a tambourine. Um, you're probably just uh, trying to heal yourself also with the hermit. Remember, the tambourine for me is like some music, right? So that's a tambourine. And justice over here, um, it feels like you may put things to arrest. Um, this is, uh, I forgot, this is a, a pharaoh's uh, tomb, right? So it's a tomb. So you're going to put this whole relationship into arrest. Because Ten of Swords. You can probably tell this person, like, you're dead to me. Mm -hmm. Ten of Swords. What a justice. You have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. This came exactly in the Divine Feminine. So watch it. King and Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Um, This feels like a... Um, it's a payback. I know this is like, a, this is the person that you thought you're going to be with. Okay. For some reason, it's a payback. They're doing this because of, in spite of, or whatever. There's anger and frustration in their end. You're, you're going to be on the defense. You need to lawyer up if you're married because the King of Swords is the lawyer. You got a King of Pentacles. You got to protect what you, what you have. You got to secure the bag, honey. Someone is going to come after the bag. Okay. If not, with the Queen of Pentacles here and the Justice, um, it feels like the other person is claiming that no, they were giving to you and you were not being receptive. You were cold, you were distant, you were workaholic because the King of Coins with the King of Swords, that's that. You have your own plans in the future and they never made, you never made them part of it. You will say, I made them part of it. Remember, it's their perception. You cannot change how you are perceived by other people. You cannot, all right? So that's how they look at you. You never made time. They make effort. And that's why it's a breakup. One person sees this, the other person sees the other thing. And then disagreement comes. And then the Ten of Swords break up. With the King and Queen of Pentacles, you thought that it's really the one. Now, there's someone who got involved here. Queen of Wands. They say it ain't over till the fat lady sings. Is that an op opera, right? An opera? With the Justice card and the Queen of Wands here, you will find out that there was someone else that they got, um, what, intimate involved with, they dated, they talked. Um, with the Queen of Wands here, that's someone who's outside. That's the mistress. Mm -hmm. So Ten of Swords with the Queen of Wands, you'll, you'll find out. The reason why they're not um, messaging you, texting, or being involved with you that much, because their attention is with this person. Queen of ones. I'm going to continue this reading. Link down there in the description box below. Let's see how further down the line this betrayal of trust that you try, you isolated yourself right now. You're finding out the truth and it's coming in fast. Be ready, be prepared, and let's see how it goes. Link down there. Bye, guys. Okay.